Hey everybody, it's Krista with Remax Gold. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today I thought I would just touch upon the pest and termite report. What exactly does section one and section two mean? Well, when you are a buyer and you are in escrow and you're in your inspection period, uh, the recommended inspection uh, on your new home would be the all home inspection, uh, pest and termite report, as well as roof. Um, of course, there are all sorts of other inspections done uh, and you want to have uh, a conversation with your agent about that, but those are typically the three main that we see. So when you hire a pest and termite inspector to go into your new home, what are they looking for? Well, they are crawling underneath the home. They're looking for signs of termites. They are looking for signs of dry rot. They're walking around your new home, looking at the rafters on the outside of the home, um, the siding, uh, looking for signs of dry rot. They are looking for leaks. They actually go inside the home. They go underneath the sinks. Uh, they look for current leaks, previous leaks, any signs of mold that might be there. Um, so they're really taking a good look at the home and the health of the home, um, as well as they might check the box for further investigation and other findings. So after you have received your report, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's a complete report. There are another box on there that actually says a limited report. So you as a buyer uh, and the agent, you want to know why is it limited? Well, sometimes they can't get to certain places. For example, they can't go underneath the house or maybe they um, weren't able to inspect the garage because of the homeowner's belongings. So if you get your report back and it says limited report, definitely get on the phone and find out why it's a limited report. So. You wanna make sure that the uh, report is complete. Then you wanna look for section one and section two items. Section one items are the items that need to be taken care of right, right away. Either dry rot, um, termite damage, those are the areas that have already been damaged. The home needs repair. Section two items will be listed, if any, and those are the items that you wanna keep on your radar. Um, eventually they could cause a problem down the road. So you wanna make sure that those stay on your radar as well. So when you are a buyer, you wanna make sure that those section one items are repaired on the home before moving. Uh, you can get them repaired. Uh, you can negotiate who pays for what, either before, before close of escrow or as a possible credit uh, after closing. So as a buyer, just remember you are taking a risk if you get credit after closing because you could go and make repairs um, on the seller's um, good faith estimate um, and only to find out that you need additional repairs. And guess what? Escrow is closed. You can't go back to the seller for more costs. So as a buyer, that is taking a risk. So if you feel that you want all those section one items closed and repaired, it's best to do that before close of escrow. So I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. 707-338-1622. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.